This is a 99 million year old fossil and it contains a drop of isolated water. And this is going to sound crazy, but we're going to smash this open and look at the water under the microscope. You crazy son of a bitch. Will we find something living? We're gonna find out. So the more technical term for this is an amber and hydro. And it was given to me by my friend Ryan, who runs the social media account, Amber Imports. Now you might know about amber from movies like Jurassic Park, it is essentially the fossilized remains of tree sap. Sometimes bugs, plants, and bird feathers can get caught or trapped in the sap. In the rarest of instances, it can fossilize and preserve water. The first sample we're looking at is 20 million years old. Let's have a look at the samples before we even crack them open. Here's what the 20 million year old amber encapsulated water drop looks like under the microscope. You can actually see the anhydro with the actual bubble inside. But more interestingly, we can actually see floating particles inside this water bubble. These particles could either be biofilms that have formed over the millions of years during preservation, or perhaps they could be some plant matter. We will check it out a bit later. This is what the 99 million year old amber anhydro looks like under a microscope. This sample actually has a couple of anhydros featured inside the amber stone itself. And because there are quite a few drops, you could speculate that this sap came from a tree that was damaged during a storm. As the sap oozed from the damaged plant, it captured some rainwater along the way. Maybe this is evidence that a huge storm happened. This sample was particularly cool because it also contained microscopic bugs. Such an interesting piece for sure. This is super fascinating, but I know what you're here for. You wanna see these cracked open. Let's get into it. I decided to start off with the 20 million year old sample. The bubble was fairly accessible and I was most interested in this sample because the water had floating bits in it. I had to be extremely careful when cutting this sample. So I drilled really close to the bubble. Then using a pin, I was able to crack through to the water. Next challenge was getting the water out of there. To do this, I used a very small metal tube. I was able to suck the water up and transfer it carefully to a glass slide. Well, this is it. Let's have a look at this under the microscope. These are my my thoughts on this sample, the footage that you can see here. It might not look like a lot, but it's actually quite fascinating. It contains a lot of particle matter, and I think this could be related to plants or bacteria. It's very likely that there would have been bacteria in this sample, and it would have consumed some of the plant matter in this sample, and it might have produced some biofilms. And I think that's what we can kind of see here the husk of old plant material and biofilms. I couldn't see any moving life. And so I turned my attention to now the 99 million year old fossil sample. Using a similar technique, I began drilling into this sample. This particular amber piece was incredibly tough to crack. I didn't want to risk drilling into the anhydra itself. So using a pin, I eventually cracked it open. You can see that moment here in the footage. After breaking through, I then carefully transferred some of the water to a slide. Now, this sample is quite interesting. I'm not really sure if it was the flow of the water, but I think something moved. The concept of opening a fossil that was isolated for 99 million years is wild. And with both samples now released onto a glass slide, I was faced with a choice. Do I finish the extinction process and eradicate these samples? Or do I give them a second chance? <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Right. So I took a glass jar and in this jar, I put the glass slide. I then carefully rinsed the slide using distilled water, then added some steamed rice to feed whatever's in there. You crazy son of a bitch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to Ryan at Amber Imports for some more crazy wild science. And if you want to see collaborations like this again in the future, let us know in the comments below. One shot, one spaghetti, mum's knees, palms sweaty. I don't know. It was really tough to cut these open.